Oh my God, Spotify. I freaking hate this subject so, so much for so many reasons, but I'm going to keep this brief. I had a conversation with a friend of mine who's very, very successful music business person. I respect him. I don't always agree with him. Actually, I probably disagree with him 75% of the time, but I still respect him because he's a good dude and he does know what he's talking about. And we were talking about a project that I was doing and, um, you know, there's no sound scan anymore, which I wasn't totally aware of um, because that was always a big deal. And he's like, yeah, it's Billboard. And for Billboard, he was talking about the way things need to be reported to get charted. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool information. And then... um, You know, I said, well, you know, listen, nobody's making any money anymore. And he's like, yeah, well, you got streaming. And I was like, oh, my God, here we go with the streaming thing. And he's like, no, no. You know, before Spotify, music was a $7 billion industry. And now it's a $14 billion industry. And I was like, yeah, for who? For you? For the record labels? I mean, maybe for big artists, but they're not making percentage-wise what they would if it was not there and people were actually buying music. He did tell me that nobody is downloading music anymore, statistically, that only 5% of the industry is downloads. But I got into this thing with him and I couldn't get into it too much because we were in the car. I was in the car talking to him. And But like, who is this helping? So say you're an artist who sells Okay, if you're Bruce Springsteen, you're probably not happy about it either, but at least you're making money because you're so big, right? But if you're an artist that traditionally sold, say, 1,000 or 1,500 records, now you're selling 100, and yet you're not getting the money from Spotify. And I would also posit that... Yes, the industry went from $7 billion to $14 billion because there's certain aspects of the industry, like the record labels who invested in Spotify and distributors uh, who are getting a piece of the pie. In fact, some record labels are getting a bigger piece of the streaming than the artists, and he pointed out that that was important to make good deals. But I would posit that the industry would have grown anyway. Maybe not to $14 billion, but that's an artificial expansion because it's, yes, it's a new avenue of revenue, but it's not being distributed evenly. And it will never be distributed evenly unless it's regulated by Congress, which it has yet to be. And people like Daniel Eck get really, really rich off our blood.